Hi, and welcome to another Accordance iOS Quick Tip. Last time we looked at how to perform at-a-glance word studies using the instant details. And this time we want to go a little deeper and look at how to use the Amplify feature in Accordance. And by Amplify, we mean a way of looking up items. It could be either an English word, a Greek or Hebrew word, even a verse reference. And so we're going to look at a few examples today. In John chapter 1, verse 5, we have the word light as it occurs here. And as you saw before, you can simply click and hold on it to get instant details on it. It shows you the key number, the original Greek word, and it also shows you the full parsing information as contained in the tag Greek New Testament, which is available as a separate purchase. It also shows the full lookup in the Greek Keys Dictionary, in this case for Phos. And it gives us a brief definition telling us it's about fire or light. But now if we click the Amplify button, we have two options, either by word or key number. By word will give you a lookup in your top English dictionary, and key number will do the full entry for the Greek keys. And so we'll go there. So you can see it gives us the full definition there, and we also have the option of clicking on additional links here which tell us about the other related words that are associated with it. So in this case the verb phino, and also another uh, verb phami. And to go a little deeper, let's click on the word phos and amplify. In this case, it opens up our top-level Greek dictionary, the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, abridged version. And as we scroll through, we can see how it's used in various literature, different synonymous terms as well, too. How it's used in the Old Testament. And so you can just get a broad meaning for the word. And in order to go back, simply two-finger swipe to the right to go back to the Greek Kings Dictionary, and then swipe again to go back to the text. Looking again at John 1.5, let's amplify this time by the English word. And you can see here we get an instant lookup in the Erdens Dictionary for light. And you can see here this is a uh, very broad definition. It's got tons of scripture references which we can touch on and we can see it as well. So that's just a simple instance on how we can do an English lookup. Now, let's go to the Greek New Testament and see how this works as well. Again, we're in John 1.5, and instead of looking at the word light, let's look at a verb. In this case, phino. We can see that it's the third singular present active indicative form. It gives us a brief definition of it. And also, again, we can see the instant lookup in the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, since that is our top-level dictionary. This time, though, let's amplify by lemma. We can see the full uh, definition is in TDNT again. Or if we want to get a different Greek dictionary, we can actually click the search icon and then change it to, say, VTAC and touch search. And we get to look up there. And then again, simply two-finger swipe to the right to return back to the text. Switching to the Old Testament, in Jonah 1-2, the author uses the word ra'ah, and this is translated variously in the English versions. So if we amplify by lemma, we can get an instant look up in the theological word book of the Old Testament. And if we mark down to the correct entry, we can get a more full definition of this word and how it's represented in ancient literature and in the Old Testament. Lastly, if we move back to our text, we, we can also amplify by verse reference. Simply touch on the verse reference and click Amplify, and it will open our top-level commentary. And in this case, it's a new international commentary on the, new test on the Old Testament. And so we can get a greater understanding of what commentators have to say about this verse. This has been iOS Quick Tip with Accordance Bible Software. Thank you.